Hi guys, welcome back to another video from me. I'm going to do a little, a little, a little, a little uh, get ready with me, just using some new products. I haven't purchased any makeup since Black Friday and then I finally placed an order at Feel Unique and also Cult Beauty. So I'm gonna try some of the products today, but not everything I'm gonna use today is new. So just so you are aware, Siggy Tutorials is here with me. He's going to not get ready because he's stunning the way he is. I can't wait for my bangs to grow out because I actually cut them in maybe December or something and I dyed my hair and I hate it. I cut way too much and I should just let my hair grow. That's what I've wanted for such a long time and now it feels like my hair is just a mess. I hate it so I'm just trying to let it grow out. Um, anyway, I'm gonna use this little concoction. Uh, I've been using this for quite a while actually, so I'm just gonna take mostly from the Pixie one because that one is, as you can see, it's pink. But the Auric one, which I have in the shade Selenite, is a little bit too deep for me, so I'm just mixing them with my hands and then I just distribute it over my vase just to get a little bit of glow, but also just to get a little bit of radiance today, or every day. And I have gotten some questions like, which one I prefer, the Auric one or the Charlotte Tilbury one? And I would say, hands down, the Charlotte Tilbury one. That one is a little bit lighter, and I feel like it goes on my skin a little bit better, and it also isn't as thick. This one can sometimes look, the Auric one can sometimes look a little bit thick right here on me, which, you know, I don't like. Maybe not at first application, but after a few hours. So I do prefer the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I thought that since I'm not going anywhere, I could use two new foundations because I have two new ones. Um, I have the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade 2.5 Yukon. Yukon. And then I also have the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's A Beautiful Skin in the shade 3 Cool Freud. Yeah. It is seen on day. Yeah, this is seen on day. I'm just taking a little bit of my Becca under eye corrector. I'm gonna start off with the NARS one. I have used both of these. Maybe, oh, maybe, I know, not maybe, but one time. And I prefer the NARS one. So what I do is that I just start to work it into my skin with my hands, and then I go in with my brush. I don't know, I just feel like it looks a little bit better. I'm gonna actually take a little bit more. But as you can see, it's really, really light. Is it maybe a little bit too light in here? like that. Um, now I'm not going to work it into my hands, but I'm going to use a brush. This is a Sueva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. I, I like using brushes like this. I think they blend out really beautifully and they just work. So this one has a light coverage. It's really, really beautiful on the skin and it lasts the entire day. And I definitely feel like this is my color. I actually wasn't planning on purchasing it in Sweden, but the shade Yukon was actually sold out. So I decided to buy it on, I think it was Cult Beauty. So that's one layer or two layers, two pumps anyway. And I just think it looks beautiful and it's a everyday foundation. And as you guys know, I don't like a full coverage foundation. So I think that this is really, really neat. Now I am not gonna clean off this brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of paper and take the excess off because the Charlotte Tilbury one is way thicker. So I'm going in with this one, just the same. And I'm gonna work it in ever so slightly like just press it into my skin the reason why i like to do this is because i feel like i don't have to do as much blending and the brush doesn't suck up most of the product which it, maybe it doesn't suck up most of the product but it sucks up a little bit of product so i am just doing the same thing 
pressing this into my skin and I thought that I would zoom you guys in just so you could see uh, what it looks like up close. So both of these, as you can see, you can see some of my imperfections and you can see some I'm so sorry, blemishes and whatnot. Oh, and I have done Instagram videos with both of these ones and all of the products that I'm featuring today. So I can link them down below. I have tried to do a little bit more Instagram tutorials when I don't have time to film a YouTube video. Sometimes I do have time to film for Instagram. So I try to do that as well because I feel like it is a little bit more fun to have a, a tutorial or just using the products than just using um, or just showing them off in pictures, but I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I have no idea what this looks like, but hopefully you can see. So this is my skin. Um, I feel like it looks pretty good and here is my forehead. So this is the NARS side. This is the Charlotte Tilbury side and you can see I have a little bit of a blemish here that you can see. I have some imperfections right here. Um, but overall, I feel like my skin looks pretty neat. If I can brag, I definitely feel like it looks good. Then I finally got my hands on this dirty little guy. I actually talked about it in one of my YouTube videos that I have been searching for this for such a long time. And then just by accident, I was looking at Feel Unique's website and I was searching for this one. I knew that it would be sold out. At least that's what I thought and I could find it and I was like oh my god so obviously I bought it and I am using a refer number four brush to blend that out and this is if you are unaware <laughs> I started blending here I don't have anything there this is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and I have the shade light I think it's uh, fair to medium and I like to just start off kind of where my mood is and just blend it out. And this is beautiful. I definitely understand why this has gotten a lot of hype because it isn't like matte, but it's a little bit radiant and it's just beautiful on the skin. It brings some life into it. And this summer, I could definitely see myself using this without like foundation, without powder, because it gives you that sunburned look. As you can see, it has a little bit of warmth to it, which, I definitely love. Now the product doesn't contain too much product. It only contains like 12 milliliters, I think, which isn't a whole lot of product, but you don't need a lot either. So I like it. And I feel like Charlotte Tilbury has started to become like my favorite brand when it comes to complexion products anyway. Like she, I think that she has some bomb products and it just, like a mofo. I'm gonna take two of my favorite concealers to mix, which are the Anastasia one and the Lancome one. So what I like to do is just to take a little bit of this one and then right here, and then right here, a little bit on the nose. This is not something I do like every single day. Just when I, I feel like it, like on the nose, usually I go in with way less concealer. And then I take the Lancome one just because that one isn't as uh, light. And I feel like it just blends a little bit better. And I have started to loving blending it out with a brush. So of course I'm doing that today as well. But driver's license, as you guys know, I'm taking my driver's license this year. I started in the end of January and today it is April 25th. I think you'll see this in a week, maybe two, if depends on how much work I have to do. But you guys, I finished and I, I uh, got approved for, um, I've done everything that I need to do except for the drive. What is it called? I, I did my, I, little, 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 I did my writing test and I passed. Yay! <laughs> Oh my God, I was so nervous, I was shaking, um, and I was taking my sweet time. I was sitting there and I was like, I am not gonna rush this. I am gonna sit, I'm gonna read the questions twice. So when I was finished, I actually read them again and I changed a couple of answers and 
I was approved. Ooh, so excited. So that's why I have a little bit more time to film and stuff like that because now the only thing I need to do is at my driving school. I don't need to do anything on my off time. Before that, I actually had to study on my off time. I'm gonna use this one, which is also from Charlotte Tilbury, and um, it is her Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. I have Siggy hair all over my freaking face. Uh, I bought the shade Light, and I'm just gonna set under my eyes. I'm not gonna use this powder for anything else. But anyway, so now that I have my off time, I'm actually off. I don't have anything to do uh, when it comes to my driving school. I'm gonna take my hourglass powder. I like to just take just a little bit in the cap, working it, working it into this Real Techniques brush, and then just using it, whoop, right here. The refer brush also sheds, which is a shame. So as you can see, I use way more powder than I used to because, I don't know, it feels like my skin and my makeup is just lasting a little bit more. I don't go in with a shit ton of powder, but just a little bit, just to give me, myself a little bit of um, matteness. Even though I don't love a matte skin, um, it just sets a little bit better. Then I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer uh, that I got in the shade Medium. I actually wish that this powder was, um, or this bronzer was in this size and the powder was in this size. So the powder contains eight grams and the <laughs> bronzer contains 16 grams which is, you know, that's a lot. Was it uh, Amy Loves Makeup? I saw her do like a really fun <laughs> Instagram video quite a while ago when she said like, oh, pan a bronzer, it's gonna be fun, they said. And then she showed her and it was all like smashed, not smashed, but she had used everything up and then she just had a little bit of the rim left and that just, uh, cracked on her and I thought it was so much fun because that's it's so <laughs> depressing when that happens so this is what the bronzer looks like I feel like it gives a beautiful finish to the skin I don't know why I'm closing my eyes but I <laughs> I sometimes do that and as you can see I'm not as precise with it as I usually was I just kind of go in with a light layer to blend everything out and make it just <laughs> set I have no idea where my eyeshadow primer is. I actually had it here like a couple of days ago. I couldn't find it yesterday either. So I just laid down a layer of concealer and then I set it with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Now I'm gonna take my Norvina palette. I'm just gonna take like one or two shades out of this one and then I'm gonna use a Pat McGrath quad that I've been loving. So as you can see, I actually finished this shade, which was really, really exciting. But now I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Incense. And when I dip in, I actually just take the excess off a, um, a little piece of paper because I don't want too much. As you guys know, I have been changing my makeup style a lot. Um, and I've gotten a couple of questions asking me if I could talk about it, but I don't know what to say. Like, it's just my preference that has changed. Previously, I used to do these super colorful and dramatic eyeshadow looks, and that is just not something I like anymore on myself. I still love to watch, you know what? I shouldn't say that I like to watch tutorials and like videos on it because I actually don't, but I do love and I think it's very cool when I see people who have those kinds of looks on their eyes. But to me, it's just not something I want. I don't know, I wanna look a little bit more, and don't take this the wrong way because I don't mean it like that, but you know, grown up, like modern, um, everyday kind of makeup, maybe just a little bit more fun. And I think you can still look like a grown up and have like colorful blue and green eyeshadow. That's not what I'm saying. But hopefully you, <laughs> you understand what I mean when I say that. Uh, it's the same thing when it comes to like foundations and stuff. I have been loving a little bit more of like 
makeup that goes on mature skin a little bit better and um, a little bit more like light layers not full coverage I used to be obsessed with like full coverage foundations but I just I find them to look very very harsh and ugly by the end of the day on me and my skin because a lot of the times they can be really matte and like if you get a little bit of like this not disruption but you know if your foundation gets lost here if it wears away it can look very very fake and like super not cool at all and um, so the Pat McGrath palette that I have oh, like I have so much dog hair is the Venus in Fleur and this is what it looks like look at that shift and it's not even my favorite color it's actually my least favorite color because I use the other three way way more but I am just dipping into the matte shadow this only has one matte which is why I went into the uh, Norvina palette you could obviously use the shade in the Norvina palette as well but I want to use this one. I think that her matte shadows are incredibly beautiful. Ah, oh, this dog hair. And it's just super pretty, so it's really easy to blend as well and to like build up. And then I'm just gonna go in with this one just to bring out the edges a little bit. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, my makeup taste changed like over time and I feel like you know I I think that I still have a love for like especially green eyeshadow whenever I see colors like that I always look at them look at swatches and stuff but I don't tend to buy them because I don't use them anymore and it's not that I as I said think that they are ugly it's just that I find them hard to wear on an everyday basis as I've told you guys I wake up every single day at like 4 30 to get ready for work I don't have the time and energy to do like a super dramatic eyeshadow look I usually do like something like I'm doing today just something really easy that still looks glam and looks pretty sometimes I just do like a color in the crease and then a uh, wing because I'm tired and I just want something to make me look a little bit more presentable if you know what I mean but I still enjoy and love watching all of these like colorful makeup queens and gals and boys and everything that looks they look so cool and I wish I could do that and obviously I can but it's just that I don't want to anymore I I I mean look at yourself and your own makeup taste you wouldn't apply a makeup you wouldn't do like a makeup look that you thought were ugly or not that I'm saying that it's ugly but you wouldn't do something that you don't feel like some days you plan to do a purple look but then you wake up and you're like no I want to do something blue instead by the way I'm only using what's up beauty makeup brushes those are the ones I tend to reach for all the freaking time I don't want to use anything else because I just think that they are awesome it's an indie brand that reached out to me last year and as I said, I don't want to use anything else. I'm going to take this shade right over here. And I'm just going to spray that with a little bit of my setting spray. You can use whatever. You can use like water. And then just apply it. I find this shade to blend really, really beautifully with the purple. Um, but anyway, my love for eyeshadow has really gone down. Usually, or in the past, that was like the one thing I hoarded. I could buy, you know, some months I bought like 15 eyeshadow palettes, which to me is insane because for me, I, I need a little bit of time to play with an eyeshadow palette and to know how I like it because a lot of the times, if you use it one time, you don't use all of the colors, depending on if it is a quad or something, obviously. But I feel like I need a little bit more time just to try it out and see how I like it. Now I'm just going to flip the brush and I'm going to take the lighter, lightest shade. None of these are her special shadows, but I, I just think that they are so pretty. And then I'm just going in with it like this. Dragging it down a little bit. And then I am just going back to the big old brush that I used before. 
eyeshadow to me doesn't really spark my interest the way it used to. I like to just dibble dabble into the palettes that I love, that I love to use, and I just, I don't feel the need to go out and purchase all of the new eyeshadow palettes. If that's your thing, then good for you. Like, I'm not judging. Great that you still enjoy it, but I don't. As I said, now I bought some new makeup, but no eyeshadows or anything. I haven't bought any new eyeshadow in over five months now and it actually feels pretty good. I've gotten some pants in the eyeshadows that I use. I used up a shadow. I've gotten way more use out of the expensive, expensive palettes that I own. So I am super excited about that. Now I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna do my mascara off camera later. So you just, you're just stuck with me now. Uh, but I'm gonna take the glowish, no, the, <laughs> The Charlotte Tilbury Glow Gas and Beauty Light wand in the shade Pink Gasm. And it's the same thing as the contour. And what I do is that I'm just gonna press up a little bit of product. And then I just do two dabs right on the skin. And then I blend it out with a fluffy brush. I feel like this is the easiest. You probably could just go in with like this on the brush and or pick it up and pick up the product with a brush, but I just, I don't know, I like this way. This is a very sheer blush, so it's not gonna be like that super blushed look, but I find it to look really, really pretty. I have used it twice, and the second time, I actually noticed that the wear wasn't super long lasting, but again, that was just one time, so hopefully, it's gonna last um, a little bit better today. So I'll update you on that when I've used it a little bit more. But it blends out neatly. But when you go in with a product right on your face, it's obviously gonna take a little bit more time to blend out versus if you took it on your hand, then on your brush and then blended it out. So let's say for instance like this, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of product actually and just kind of work it in right here just so it makes a little bit more even because it got a little bit more splotchy. I think that this is by the way the best way to do it because I find that the two blobs that you kind of press against your skin doesn't get as blended. So I think that this is the way to go. I am also gonna take just a little bit on my nose right here. Maybe people will send me home for thinking that I'm sick, even though the pandemic is over. Oh my God, I never thought I'd see the day. And I haven't talked a lot about the pandemic because everyone has been, and I've been like, oh, I just want everyone to be quiet about it. I'm reading the news all the time. I'm talking about it all the time at work. I don't wanna talk about it anymore. Just shut the F up. I'm so sorry if you are talking about it constantly. I understand why people are talking about it and I think that it's great to kind of normalize depression during this time, but I am so happy that it's over. <laughs> Hopefully anyway. <laughs> but now I think we're just seeing it as like a flu or something. Not the flu, yeah, the flu. I'm gonna take this Lorac highlight and this is in the shade Starlight. And I'm just going in with this right on my skin. I don't need to do anything specific because my blush is a little bit wet, so this is gonna attach really, really neatly to the skin. And then I just try to blend it out a little bit. I'm actually gonna take my uh, bronzer brush and kind of just blend a little bit like so everything blends together like that but anyway i think you should do your makeup in the way that you want to and not try and do it to please other people like i went from being this super colorful gal into being like this super boring neutrals that i find to be super elegant and i'm doing it for me because i think that it makes me look good and it's something I like to wear. I'm gonna take this, this is from Beauty Bay. This is their lip liner in the shade Whip. It is a little bit browny pink. I need to sharpen it actually. So this is not new. They sent me it in PR ages ago and I really like their lip pencils. 
they are really nice and they're lip products some of their other products aren't as good but their lip liners glosses and lipsticks are really really good and then of course my trusted uh, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kim KW I have actually finished one of these so this is my second one I just love it so much Okay, let me do my hair and mascara and I will be back. All right, all right, all right. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to say that this is the finished look with mascara and I fixed my hair. I have been loving doing like these uh, up, half up, half down kind of looks. I've always loved them. So I think that this is just a cute little way to um, bring some body to the hair while still being like it's cute, but it's not childish, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But having this in a little girl with like butterflies here or something would be so cute. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. I have a little bit of mascara smudge here, but now it's gown. Um, so the Charlotte Tilbury foundation is on this side. I will say that it's looking a little bit shinier right here. And I will also say that what I have noticed, I've once again, I've only used them once each time. The NARS foundation has stayed like matte, it stayed on the skin and everything. While the Charlotte Tilbury foundation has become pretty much quite kind of oily right here. Now I don't mind a glowy skin but I don't think it's suitable if you have oily skin because maybe it will disrupt your foundation. Maybe if you have a lot of large pores and stuff it's not gonna look as neat. Maybe it will. I'm just saying my thoughts on it. Uh, but the NARS foundation is to me the clear winner of the two foundations however i do enjoy both of them i think that they are both really really pretty and i don't regret one of them i feel like the color is pretty you know they are pretty um so if you are my color it's they are pretty much the same 2.5 yukon and three fair cool fair in the charlotte tilbury one and i will leave all of the links down below they are affiliate things but if you do want to use them that really helps me out everything else that i've used today i will have linked down below with all of my shade stuff shades and stuff and the instagram tutorials that i have uploaded using all of these products i can also link it down below and i think that that is pretty much it i would really love it if you would subscribe i would also really love it if you would like or dislike the video depending on how you liked it and i'll see you in my next video bye guys